What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer, and we just got the first major balance patch update for the Overwatch 2 beta, which only has changes for two heroes, being Mercy and Moira, but these changes are massive. So without further delay, let's jump right on in, starting off with what is actually a general hero balance change regarding armor. The final hit that would deplete a hero's armor pool is now dynamically reduced. For example, previously if a hero had one armor remaining and took 100 incoming damage, this would instead be reduced by 70 damage due to armor. Now, in the same scenario, that hero will take 99 damage. So, more or less, this is just a nerf to how effective armor is at preventing damage, which, I don't know, didn't really feel like a change I thought was particularly necessary in the current version of the Overwatch 2 beta, but okay, I guess we'll see how it plays out. But getting on to the hero changes, first up we have Mercy, Guardian Angel. Mercy is no longer automatically launched upward when she reaches her destination. The ability has a meter that charges up while Guardian Angel is active. Canceling the ability with Jump now launches Mercy in the direction she is facing. The more charge she has, the more launch speed she'll have when canceling Guardian Angel with Jump. And also also, holding the backward directional input and canceling Guardian Angel launches Mercy in the opposite direction. So, we already knew about this change based on some of the things Blizzard had talked about in a previous blog post, but now that we actually have it in-game, it's rather interesting. I will admit, it's pretty fun, and I do like that it gives you more control compared to the previous version where it just automatically launched you up. So overall, I feel like this is an improvement. It still feels a bit odd though, so I guess you Mercy players out there will be the ones who can really say one way or the other whether this is a decent change, but for me, it seems pretty neat. I definitely like this direction Blizzard is taking, but I guess we'll have to see in the long run how it actually plays out in terms of whether it works for the character or is going to be another nuisance in one way or another. Moving on from Mercy though, next up Moira. At long last, Moira finally got her mini rework, which is honestly the best way of describing it, because she now has a brand new ability. Taking a quick look at the developer notes for Moira, Moira's strength lies in her extreme survivability, high healing throughput, and consistent damage output, but other supports have at least one utility option or playmaking ability. To remedy this, Biotic Orb has been split into two abilities on separate cooldowns, Biotic Orb and Necrotic Orb. Due to Necrotic Orb's potential to shut down many ultimates and heavily swing duels in her favor, Moira has also received some compensation nerfs to her overall power. So looking at the specific details, Necrotic Orb, new ability, temporarily enabled Enfeebling Orb in-game, replaces Damage Biotic Orb with a separate cooldown of 16 seconds, fires a straight moving projectile that explodes in a 3 meter radius on impact of an enemy or environment, deals 40 impact damage and 10 explosion damage, and enemies affected by Necrotic Orb's explosion receive the weakened status effect, which reduces all damage dealt by 75% for four seconds. This is a pretty crazy sounding ability. Just playing around with it a little bit in the practice range, I feel like you're not gonna get a very adequate understanding of how impactful it is, especially with that weakened status effect, but this is definitely a really cool direction to take the hero. Is it the right direction for her? Eh, I don't know. It, I, I, this is definitely one that I think is gonna take some playing around with and experimenting to see how effective it ends up being and whether this is a better version of Moira or maybe just doesn't feel that great, but nonetheless, I'm really excited to see Blizzard finally push out this new version of the ability, because it's going to be fun to test out, if nothing else. Sticking with Moira though, Biotic Orb, Damage Orb has been replaced with new ability Necrotic Orb, each orb has its own separate cooldown, Healing Orb capacity decreased from 300 to 250, and cooldown increased from 8 to 10 seconds. So even on the healing side of things, there was a bit of a nerf for the ability. Furthermore, Biotic Grasp, self-healing decreased from 24 to 20 per second, and Fade, cooldown increased from 6 to 7 seconds. Now, these are all the changes that ended up going through with today's balance patch. Unfortunately, there didn't end up being any changes for Symmetra, which was kind of weird because they literally told us in the blog post last week that there would be changes, even specified what they were going to be, but it looks like they're not actually here yet, so maybe we'll see those in the days ahead, who knows, it's beta, balancing and patching 
patching things is always weird in these versions of the game. But nonetheless, I think the changes we did get from Mercy and Moira are very, very exciting. Hopefully, as a side bonus, this means more people will be queuing as support because they want to try out the Mercy and Moira changes, which would be very much appreciated because uh, that'll lower tank queues, which is what I'm looking forward to. But nonetheless, overall, I think these are pretty cool. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on these changes in the comments down below. Are you excited to try out these new versions of Mercy and Moira? And what are your initial thoughts on these new mechanics and abilities? As always, thank you all so much for watching and be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, hit up that bell icon and come join my Discord server to hang out and never miss any of my future Overwatch 2 news and content. And special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards, then just hit that join button down below. And otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off and until next time, have a great day.